So outside of the store, we have these Tesla high power wall connectors, and this is where we'll be charging all the test drive cars that are available for customers when they come in and want to get behind the wheel. Uh, the high power wall connectors are also available for our owners to install at home. They run off of a 240 volt outlet uh, at 80 amps. So they're going to put about 58 miles of charge on this car in an hour. So you can fill up the car in four to eight hours overnight, just like you would plug in a cell phone. And then when it's green like that and not blinking, it means it's fully charged. So I just pull it out and then close that little tail light and no visible sign of a gas cap or anything like that. It was designed intentionally so that there was no gas cap and it clearly looked electric. So in the trunk of Model S, you have enormous cargo space and all of these seats actually flip down so you can put a bike or a Christmas tree back here. And then below here, there's actually a really fun option for additional seating for two children. You just flip the seats up and all of a sudden you can fit seven. And then so that you have somewhere to put your luggage still, we'll come around to the front of the car. And then in the front of Model S, you have another trunk. So this is where you'd put all your luggage if you have the kids in the back. Still plenty of storage space. Should we go for a drive? Sure. Okay. Tell me about this car real quick, just like what model of the Model S is this? What package does this car have on it? Yeah, so we are in the P85 Plus. Okay. Uh, it's our performance package with the 85 kilowatt hour battery, meaning that it gets 265 miles on a single charge. And then the Plus just means that it's the it's the sports pack. So it has the upgraded bushings, dampers, tighter four wheel base. Um, this car does zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds. It was our very top of the line car until last month when we launched our dual motor Model S which now brings that zero to 60 time from 4.2 seconds down to 3.2 seconds, making it the fastest four-door vehicle ever built. So go. as you'll notice, there's no ignition. Once your butt's in the seat and the key is sitting inside the car, you just put your foot on the brake, you see that little speedometer spin, and then you can toggle down into drive and you're off. Nice, all right, which direction do you? Um, maybe pull out this way, since there's, right. a, there's a lot going out, going out there. And then I don't want to turn the heat off, but you can tell how silent the car is. Which oh, yeah, is one it is. of my favorite aspects. The only noise is there's a little bit of tire noise and then obviously the heat. I mean, I encourage you to punch it on this little strip okay. just so you can feel it because it's pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> And the funny thing is, you know, like it doesn't make any noise. Right. It just yeah. goes. Instant acceleration. Yeah. It was like zero gravity. Yeah. <laughs> but it does feel pretty good, you know. It's um, it handles nicely, and um, you know, it's a nice, firm suspension, but it's it's compliant. You know, you're not bouncing all over the place. <laughs> That's not for you. <laughs> like, man, he's getting pulled over already. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, this is well. Oh, and she'll break the tires loose. Nice. <laughs>
uh, basically when you're at speed you get a little bit of wind noise and actually very little bit though they've, they've done a pretty good job of sound insulation on this car and uh, you know you do get a little bit of, of tire noise as you're driving down the street but besides that you know it's, it's a pretty quiet cabin it's spacious these seats feel really really good you know they've got a pretty uh, cool style to them as far as looks are concerned but it's also very functional like sitting in here it's very comfortable the seats kind of just uh, uh, envelope me inside or envelope me envelop me let's just they they I you, you fit nicely inside of the seats and um, you know it's uh there there's all sorts of adjustments for lumbar and for man, this car's fast all sorts of adjustments for lumbar and, and all the other uh, supports that they have. Um, you know, the dashboard's really cool looking. It's a really clean display. Gives you multiple points of information. Even with traction control on, this car will break the tires loose. So, you know, I don't know if there's a switch to turn that off or not. I'm assuming there should be. But, uh... Even if there wasn't, uh, you know, you, you could still break these tires loose a bit, just like in any uh, high horsepower car is able to do. And when you get on the accelerator, you know, it just kind of gives you that Jetsons, and that's like all you hear. There's no engine sound, you get the extra wind, you get that little uh, uh, motor whine that's just very faint in the back in my back right ear and you get that thrust of this car just uh just taking off i've got to say i initially questioned uh you know the the price of a vehicle like this i mean this is this is a lot of money for um for a car you know you're talking uh 80 90 grand i'm estimating there but you know you're talking around that amount 80 90 100 grand for a car and uh that's that's a lot of money to spend especially on an electric vehicle but um you know these have some pretty long uh battery life you know some 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 good range on them you know when you're getting upwards of 300 miles or so on a charge that's pretty good that allows you to live with this vehicle a lot more normally than you might with some other electric vehicles um so you know you get one of those superchargers or at least one of those um, higher end chargers at your house so that you can charge it up quickly and uh, you can pretty much live with a car like this on a daily basis you throw in the the, the uh, pretty amazing performance as well as all of the the luxury features inside of this car and it very much it, it very well might be a, a, a pretty good car to uh, to own first model academics